57 women are stoned to death during the annual Riyadh Fashion Week. A frantic Biden searches a dog shelter for a bow look-alike, and a fun sticker is placed on a child's ventilator. And now, for viewers too ignorant to read the words literally printed before their eyes, here is the name of the program. This is The Onion Week in Review. In a deal policymakers have hailed as a decisive step towards combating the rapidly escalating national debt, the United States settled 1,200 millionth of a percent of its debt to China this week with a single autographed photograph of John Hamm. The sale of the glossy signed headshot of the acclaimed actor, which China reportedly accepted for a financial easement of approximately $150 out of America's estimated $1.3 trillion in obligations, concludes a six-month negotiation between the two parties. The decision to part with an autograph from an actor of Mr. Ham's caliber was obviously not an easy one. But without question, this was the right choice for our nation's future. We also have a committee working on plans to sell China a first pressing LP of the Eagles Hotel California, a Game of Thrones shirt signed by the entire cast and this tapered black mug. This week, a new report released by the Pew Research Center found a rising number of weak, emasculated men working as stay-at-home dads. Researchers noted that the class of effete, pathetic fay boys has been expanding at a rapid pace in recent years, with millions of the men, if they can even still be called men, spending entire days performing humiliating domestic chores such as cooking, child-rearing, and tending house. In an anatomical sense, yes, these are men, at least technically speaking. They're people who are nominally male, in some sense of the word, but who are performing domestic duties and caring for children like ineffectual weaklings who might as well be castrated. As he planned his upcoming move to Denver, Chicago resident Paul Marston told reporters this week that he had never taken the time to truly loathe the city he has called home for the past five years. Admitting that he had simply never set aside the proper time to do so, Marston remarked that he regretted never giving himself the chance to thoroughly despise his current city's lackluster transportation system, depressing music scene, or half-assed excuse for culinary offerings. You know, I lived right next to that bar for four years, and. I just wish I took more time to abhor the disgusting smell that hits you every time you walk by. I'd always heard this place blows. Guess it's a shame I never got to hate it like I should. And in this week's science news, a distant planet is terrified that it might be able to someday support human life. In other news, a live cow is lowered onto the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. The majority of an office's supplies are used to apply for different jobs, and a lapsed cult member only attends Sanctum on major bloodletting holidays. Death now comes, as it does for us all, to this news summary. For more, keep checking TheOnion.com.